Our culture makes a clear distinction between plants and animals, but not all cultures do. Wait, what? Yeah, there's one island off the coast of Australia that just has two words for all living things. One just means sea organism and the other is land organism. So in that taxonomy, a wallaby would have more in common with an acorn than with a fish. My favorite example is there's this tribe in Botswana that has three completely unique categories. One is a word for eat things, which are edible things, plants or animals. There's a second word for bite things, which are plants or animals that can injure you. So this would include both a lion and a poisonous mushroom. And then there's a third category for completely useless things that you can't eat, but also are unlikely to eat you. And so it's interesting that 